People said my family was cursed. Mom tried to protect us with God. Pop tried to protect us with wrestling. Uh, I guess this question's for the both of you, Holt, Mora. Um, how familiar were you with the Von Erich story before you got involved with the film? Well, I take this one first because it's quick. I wasn't at all. Um, I, I, I learned, I had to learn all about it after I got the role. Mm -hmm. So that's just not something I experienced. But I'm, a, a lot of people that we're talking to know the story. Good morning. Pants tomorrow, please, David. Oh, Harry, I want you to join your brothers in the ring. Yes, sir. I love that. It was an exciting moment for the Von Erich family when they were on top of the world. But almost as soon as that moment happened, it was over. Yeah. I mean, it was really short. Yeah, when they really were was. when they were when they were like rock stars in Texas and David and and Kevin and Carrie would come out to, to 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 thousands of fans screaming for them in Texas Stadium or the Sportatorium, you know, that was a really exciting time, but it didn't last long. Now we all know Carrie's my favorite, then Kev, then David, then Mike. But the rankings can always change. But I, it, it was an honor for me to play Fritz von Erich. Um, a lot of people, you know, uh, 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 have disparaging things to say about Fritz, and um, maybe we don't have the time to go into all of that. Um, but uh, I didn't. Uh, I didn't see him that way. I. I, I saw him um, as a guy who uh, uh, who loved his family and loved his sons, loved his wife, was a religious man, and had been a, 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 a you know, a, a successful, famous wrestler, and he wanted the same things for his boys. What do you want in life, Kevin Von Eric? More ribs. <laughs> I want to be with my family. You know, be with my brothers. What do you like to do with your brothers? It was a family business. Mm -hmm. That's exactly correct. Yeah, when and, I was growing and, up, the Von Erics were like, you know, I watched wrestling religiously. I still do. And so I knew the Von Erics, watched the Von Erics, uh, and saw pretty much the whole story play out. Um, and you always heard stories, kind of like the Stu, Stu Hart, the hearts and things like that. You always right. hear the stories about how brutal it was, how tough it was, you know, living in those homes. The movie gives you a different perspective of Fritz and Doris and how things were uh, in their personal lives behind the scenes. Now, we got your, your opinion, uh, Holt, on how your perspective on Fritz. More, I'd love to hear your perspective on Doris and her, her role and how things were in the boys' upbringing and their entry into wrestling. Sure. <clears throat> I mean, I will say there's a little less uh, material available on Doris when you do the research because she just she's not really present. It was uh, in the ring. So mm -hmm. I had a little more leeway to sort of uh, infuse it with what I would imagine um, <clears throat> a woman at that time uh, in the 70s and 80s, who was very young when she had her first child, lost her first child, had a lot of children mm -hmm. and a lot of tragedies. So there's not much written down about Doris right. except for her faith. Right. So I think I had to sort of figure out how, just to, in working through the scenes of their family life, how, what, how her faith sort of pushed her foot step by step through all the, the pain. Well, so, I appreciate it. I winged it. Yeah. <laughs> Together, we can do anything. I loved the movie. I've always been fascinated by the story of the Von Erics for obvious reasons. But I got to ask you kind of a hardcore wrestling question to start with. I don't know how much of a big wrestling fan you are. I'm assuming you are. So... One of the things that our local wrestling enthusiasts loved about the movie is he said that you captured the style of world class very, very well, as opposed to WWF style, which is very different. And we wanted to know if you could talk a little bit about that, because that was something that we were very impressed by. Yeah, thank you. That was very important to me. Uh, I was a huge wrestling fan as a kid. Um, mm -hmm. I, I've gotten out of it as I got older, but for me, it was my obsession um in the late 80s early 90s so i even 
I even missed World Class Days and really only discovered them through VHS tapes that I was able to get my hands on. Um, But I just loved the energy there. I loved the Sportatorium and it just felt like nothing else and still does. And so I really uh, wrote the wrestling matches with that in mind, making sure, you know, that we were drawing on moves they were really doing uh, and focusing the guys on learning that and really getting the, and, and, and wanting to have that sort of, you know, harder hit, hard hitting feel too, uh, that, you know, like, you know, Kevin was really connecting with people, you know, they were, they were, they were giving each other real shots as well. And, 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 and embracing the physicality of that and, and wanting that to, to come across. We're here to restore justice to the wrestling federation that our father built with his own two hands. The hands that were passed down to us, the hands that will deliver the iron clock to you. If you're telling a story about the Von Erics, I would imagine it would be really easy to make a film that was kind of thoroughly depressing. And I didn't feel that it was, I didn't feel that it was depressing. It was definitely sad and it was definitely heartbreaking, but I didn't feel that it was depressing because ultimately there's a a positive story that's being told there. Um, Was that a balance that you had to maintain? And was that perhaps one of the reasons why one of the brothers ended up not really in the movie and just parts of him ended up there? There was kind of a, 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 a merging of the two characters. Yeah, absolutely. It it was, um, you know, I didn't want to make a film about grief. It's not what this is about. Mm-hmm. This is about celebrating these brothers, celebrating this family, but also not shying away from the tragedy that, you know, that was also, you know, their tragedy really haunted me. And, and I wanted to have all of that. But it's, it's, you know, Kevin, Kevin emerges, you know, just in listening to him, the real Kevin, like, his survival is the thing that emerges biggest from the family. And so uh, really connecting with that felt like the most important thing for me and and, and having his story of survival uh, be, be the thing that really guided and made, so, so, so I had to take this epic story and make really tough decisions, but they all had to service that for me. Um, they all had to service Kevin's story and yeah, ultimately making the choice to not depict Chris was, was I, I would say, the hardest decision I've ever made writing a script. Um, and and, and from, on a human level, it was an impossible decision, but on a screenwriting character level to separate myself in order to make the film, in order to see it as characters on a page, there was just a repetition in their tragedy that, that the, I don't believe the film could have sustained. Um, and so we made that really tough decision. And you know, luck, luckily, it was one that I felt was the best and 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 luckily, you know, uh, Kevin agrees. So it's been uh, good to have his support in that as well. I talked to you about something. Dad's too tough on us. You gotta say something. Baby, that's what your brothers are for. Feel that? Ah. You feel that? Ah. That's pressure. Was it tricky depicting Fritz though? Because I feel like that's such a polarizing character. I mean, you can see the mistakes that he made, but also there's some humanity to him there. Like I never doubted the fact that he actually loved his sons. Yeah. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a tricky fine line to walk with the parents. I thought, but I thought you did it really well because I did, I did have sympathy for them as the movie went on, and thank I didn't you. know that I would. Yeah, thank you. That's really important to me. I never look when I'm when I'm writing a character, or directing a character. I never judge them, no matter what they've done. Uh, it's not my place as the filmmaker to judge them. So I always come to that with an openness and try to make the most complete, rounded character I can. And I, you know, but I, I really do believe. Um, that that Fritz was operating from a place of love, both the character mm-hmm. and and in real life. I think, I think he loved his boys more than anything, and he just showed it in the ways he knew how. And unfortunately, he came from a very violent place, and and uh, had um, you know, but 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 probably believed that you know what he says in the movie, being the toughest, the strongest, the most successful, would save you. And, uh, and, and unfortunately that's misguided, um, but uh, I think he's coming from a place of love despite what he does.